business owners, business owners, attention business owners, entrepreneurs, guys, listen up, man. Uh, you guys see me, man, I just got through eating a little lunch, about to go do a little small screen to recoat, guys, I am out here working. I'm doing sales, working in my business, working on my business, but the key word is work, okay? And what I'm about to tell you guys, a lot of you guys need to listen, okay? I just had a guy call me. He said, Courtney, man, I watched some of your videos and uh, yeah, it's been slow most of this year, but I heard what you said, man, uh, how people have been on vacation and uh, once people get off vacation, the next, the, the rest of the year is going to be amazing and I, 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 I can't wait. And I told him, I said, bro, listen, that's just my prediction, okay? And one thing about me, guys, I always expect the best. I don't hope for the best. I expect the best. But at the end of the day, there is a thing called reality, okay? So I told this guy, I said, yes, that's what I expect, okay? But at the same time, don't just sit back and wait for something to happen, I said, bro, you have a business, okay? And I asked this guy, I've never talked to him before. I said, how, how long have you been in business? Three years. I said, bro, you are a baby to business, okay? You shouldn't be sitting back waiting for something to just come to you. You need to be out here humping, okay? Well, well, well Courtney, I got my ass going. At, dude, if you... <laughs> Guys, listen. I have been seeing this for so many years. We're cleaners special carpet cleaners they start doing these facebook ads and they think that is the end all the end that like that is the magic answer i say bro listen you supposed to be out here shaking hands you supposed to be out here networking you supposed to be making phone calls and i gave him a few tips i said okay i said you know i asked i said do you do he said yeah i do commercial i said well do do something okay i said i'm gonna give you guys a tip what i told him I said, do you do, um, what kind of services do you do? He said, I do VCT stripping and wax. I do carpet cleaning. I do towel cleaning. I said, okay, good. I said, get on Google, okay? And search about 10 to 20 daycares, okay? Doctor offices, okay? Salons in your area, okay? And pick about five of those a day for the next week. And just go to those five, introduce yourself, Leave them a business card, a pamphlet, a brochure, or whatever, and start networking, okay? Do not just sit back and depend on Facebook ads, okay? Guys, it is so much more to it when you are trying to grow your business, when you are trying to build the foundation of your business. And I see this, and I realize why so many businesses do not grow the way they want to grow or they should grow and they stay stagnant they stay at a certain point because why they get comfortable and they expect things to just come to them but guys in business you have to be a go-getter okay guys be asking me all the time courtney uh why you just don't let the guys go out and do the work and you just sit back in at the office what just sit at the office and, and, and do what? <laughs> okay, guys, it's a, it's a whole opportunity out here. It's a whole world out here. And it's certain things that I can do a whole lot better than my guys. So what I, why would I want to put that on them, okay? I know how to sell. I know how to talk, okay? Yes, they know how to do the work, but we all have our... Our, our responsibilities and that's one of the responsibilities of my business which you guys see my business is always thriving okay we're always working we're always working for good uh, types of clients because of the structure of how i built my business and also the role that i play in my business because again guys i'm not in a position it might look like it from the outside looking in. I'm not in a position to get comfortable, okay? And I would not get comfortable. So my thing is this, like for example, I just had a little kid, uh, Ben, just called me from Florida. Said, Courtney, man, I've been getting hardwood uh, leads and I'm actually going to look at one now for a clubhouse. He said, Courtney, send me the invoice, man, for the uh, hardwood group because I should have been joined that group. And he's right, way into the last minute, okay? Where if you already had your ducks in a row, you already start structuring your business the way it should be. When things happen, you're already ready. So I'm here to say, guys, listen, don't wait for something to just happen. Don't wait for something to just come to you. You are a business owner, all right? 
And you have to understand that. And with being a business owner, there are so many responsibilities that that that, that you have to be willing to take on. You there's so many challenges that you have to be willing to take on. And if you're not ready, man, I mean, I'm just gonna say it. And I've said it before, and I've said it again. You maybe you just need to get a job, okay? Because you're not cut out for this if you're just sitting back, just expecting and just waiting for something to happen. Get out here, make things happen, okay? Because you'll be surprised if you just put some effort, okay? Just put some effort into your business. Really try, focus, okay? You'll be surprised, man, how you just start seeing things just change for the better. So, guys, again, just a little tip of the day. I'm about to go out here and uh, do a screen and recode. Hopefully, this video can help someone. See you in the next one.